Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni asubuhi njema ambayo Bwana ametupatia. Sifa na shukrani zimrudie yeye aliye juu. Aketie katika kiti cha heshima na utukufu milele. Nimekuja kwenu asubuhi ya leo niwatie moyo na nizungumze nanyi wapendwa ndugu zangu dada zangu. Ambao mnasikia muda ni kama kuna mtu amekuwa ribia muda wako. Hamu unasikia kuna mambo ambayo hujatimiza. Nipo hapa nikwambia kwamba kuna watu katika mahusiano aswa mahusiano ambao wanaitwa watu wa kuharibu muda time wasters na watu hawa utawajuaje ya kwamba huyu mtu yuko katika kuniharibia wakati hmm? kuna watu ambao wako very social hata kanisani hata katika community lakini unapo research wale watu there is nothing that is so constructive about them there is no much unaweza sema unaweza unganisha ukasema wamefanya kile wamefanya hiki wana familia wamesonga hivi wana girlfriend mmoja ama wako hivi such kind of people lazima ukue makini nao maana katika mambo ya mahusiano kuna watu wa kuharibia wengine muda there are people that will waste your time and that is the person that i want to talk to you about this morning um utakutana na mwanaume ambaye ni mzuri sana katika muangalio na katika muonekano eh kama ntai ameidunga vizuri eh eh acha wengine siku hizi wanajipodoa wanaume unajua wamejikata wamejipodoa mavazi yake ya muonekano wake ni mzuri lakini ule mtu wewe waenda naje wapi na alipo kwa approach alikuwa anataka alikuwa amekuwa approach atake nini maana kuna yule mtu ambaye amekumit leo na ni one night stand anataka muanzane leo mshajiwana kitandani mambo ya mahaba mshahanza na hata umujui hmm? watu kama hao kwa makini nao mtu ambaye umekutana naye hata kama umekutana naye kanisani na kazi yake anataka kupitia straight to the bedroom. Hana kazi nyingine amekupa pata haraka haraka. Amekupepeta huku na kule. Amekupeleka kitandani. Kuwa makini na mtu aina hii. Maana yule mtu amwendi mbali na Promise zake ni za aina gani? Maana yule mtu mwelekeo wake ni wapi? Ni kitu kinatangwa sex. Eh? Sex. Ana mwelekeo kukwambia tujenge hivi watoto wetu eh, courtship ni nini nini. Yule mtu ako umepata na leo umeanzana. Yes kuna miinuko ya mwili lakini lazima ukue na self control. Kwa hivyo huo mtu ambaye mmeanzana naye mwaelekea wapi? Jiulize where are you ending with this person? Mwaelekea wapi na yule mtu? Maana kama ni mtu wa kuharibia wakati, ana mwelekeo fulani ambao atakwambia mimi miaka mitano nataka ni nimetimiza hiki ama nimfanya kile. Ataka kuharibia wakati. Dada unayejua kuwa huyu mwanaume ameoa ana kuharibia wakati wakati tunaanza kumdate. You know this person truly is married. And then you want to date them. Wewe uone unaharibu wakati wako? Eh? Ama unamwambia kifo yule mwingine afa ndio uweze kumchukua mume wa watu, dada zangu. Eh? Stop behaving funny. And we have to ask the Lord to forgive us so much, especially we women dating men that are married. That is wasting your time. Hiyo ni kujaribia muda. Kwa hivyo huyo mtu ambaye mmeanza na leo na mjuani na hata kama hajaoa na akuelekezi tunaelekea wapi huyo ni mtu wa kukaribia wakati wewe dada ama dugu ambao una date mtu ambaye ameoa pia huyo ni mtu wa kukaribia wakati au ana pesa si na pesa maana kile ambacho kitakupelekea hapa pale ni kitu gani kama huyu mtu ana mwenzake pesa tu hmm? kwa hivyo utajipata waongea na yule mtu utajipata unataka kuconnect na yule mtu lakini mnapo connect am connect na vitu zingine ni kitu kimoja kinaitangwa sex mapenzi tu ya kitandani hmm? Mahaba ya wapi ya kitandani huyu mtu hamna mwelekeo kusema tujenge hivi tuseme hivi ama ama toani maana mwanaume ambaye anakutaka lazima akwambie i want to marry you wewe ufungashi kutoka kwako uje kuishi na mtu na hajakwambia kwamba anataka mke ndio haikifanyiki hivyo na watu wengi wamefanya wewe ule ujinga ama ufala wa aina hiyo ukafungasha mizigo kaja kuishi na mtu na hajakuo people some people waste times i remember my brother and i'm sorry to talk about my brother very born from the same womb maybe from different brothers i don't know but one of my father my my brothers alikuwa na msichana wa nyumba kule Nairobi na katika mwelekeo wao wakapendana lakini dada akakimbia kwa yule ndugu yangu akaja kuishi naye maana kwa kazi za nyumba sasa hataki kazi za nyumba ameona mwanamume ambao ni wariara karaka akakuja kusettle naye lakini katika mind yake amekuja na mind gani basi wakapata msichana mmoja wakazaa na mwanamke akala dawa zake amejifunga hata kikuza watoto wengine. Ndugu yangu amejipiga kila nguvu zote aleta chakula afanye hivi. 
akamwekea mpaka eh, biashara dakika dakika kumbe huyu mwanamke ameanzana na mwingine tena na married man she is married now my baby brother na wamepata mwingine ambaye niko married wameanza together sasa the ending of this person iko wapi hmm? hata ule mtu ukimwambia twende nyumbani tukao na wazazi hataki maana yeye mwelekeo wake aja akili zake aja settle aja jitolea katika mambo ya kindoa kwa hivyo dada zangu ndugu yangu akaharibiwa aka miaka saba, seven years of attachment with a woman but today they are not together my brother end up, ended up settling with another woman so people of god stop be careful with time wasters kwa mwangalifu sana watu wa kuharibia muda wako maana muda ukipita uwezi ukakusanya miaka saba ni miaka mingi sana ukisema ufanye jambo kutoka sasa 2023 mpaka 2030 you can do a lot of things people of god with a proper target and proper hard work you can do a lot so people of god usalamu mtu ambaye anakuletea topic ya sex 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 uanze kusema huyu mtu ambaye tunaelekea hapa moja huyo ni time waster sex without proper plans and proper uh, marriage and things that are ending with that so that person unaelekea na wewe wapi be careful these people ambao ni watu wa kuharibu muda you don't know them a lot hapo kuunganisha hata na familia zao ujui ndugu yake ujui dada yake ujui kwao umekutana hapa town mjini wapi lakini hata haja kuintroduce na watu wako and then you say oh this is my girl and this is my man how is this your man how you don't even know their mother you don't know their parents you don't know where they come from you don't know even sometimes you don't know where they live mnapata na tulojin tumefanya blanda za aina hiyo na tunakuelekeza maana tunataka kuingia katika mtego huo so people of god these people if you don't know them they are not introducing you to family members be careful with them they may be your time waster they may end up dumping you in a moment and you will be in pain to collect the time that you have wasted it cannot be collected and if you have somebody that is wasting your time please just watchana na huyo mtu naendelea na maisha yako mungu atakuelekeza ukiomba na uamini atakuelekeza wengine ni maskama matapeli mtu atakutapeli maana mtu ambaye anataka kula na wewe na kuoi huyo ni tapeli wa kuchukua mwili wako that's a scam somebody wants to sleep with you and there is no agreement of what you are sleeping you for you are not a prostitute a prostitute at a lipwa but you are not sleeping with this man to marry you so what why are you sleeping with this man that's a scammer that's a thief because a thief comes to steal he's stealing your your your, your goods yeah he's going to your to, to, to your pussy to, to steal your goods hmm? stop opening your eyes to men they are stealing all you young man opening your 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 your, your, your zigo that thing that god gave you which is very anointed and uh, carries your generations to go pouring them in out you must be careful how you are running your life so people of god these people that we are calling time wasters they are players they are after sex and money and these people you do not know them and they may end up destroying your life because if you get a wanted pregnancy sometimes you want to terminate it Um, sometimes uh, you don't know what to do so be careful be careful with these people that are called time monsters they may end up destroying your life forever to collect yourself from emotional pain to collect yourself from past pain kabla ujikusanye uwe mtu tena inachukua muda dada zangu ndugu zangu be careful with time monsters be a person that fears god he will direct you he will order your steps and he will help you repent of your past sin and focus focus god is going to help you do not go opening eyes to any man or and zipping and zipping your trousers to any any woman that you are meeting out there you must be a man of integrity and a woman of your integrity your words must be full of integrity and integrity comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so that the words of grace and faith can come and proceed from you people of god i love you and i'm praying for you that god may strengthen you and deliver you from all time wasters because if your time is wasted you will be in pain and you can never forget somebody who ruined your life in such a long time like 10 years 5 years 2 years 3 years even months you don't need anybody to waste a moment of your life your life is precious you're created in, in special image and likeness of god you need to take care of yourself and to know that you are a conqueror in christ and you're going to do great things the lord bless you the lord keep you the lord strengthen your heart the whole the lord heal you from your past pain and the lord give you the right man and the right woman uh, a person that will not waste your moment so that you can build together and become great in jesus name amen i love you so much